Welcome to Halogen Training Level 100 Lesson 101. In this lesson you will learn how to get your software running and the basic tools of the hardware workspace. The Halogen software is your home for creating, configuring and controlling your DSP system. Download it for free from our website and start designing your audio system before any hardware is ordered. Be sure to have the minimum system requirements, Microsoft Windows 7, Service Pack 1 or greater, 32 or 64 bit, with an Ethernet port. Halogen helps you with the first step, determining which of the HAL processors is best to build your system. If this is your first introduction to Halogen products, you can click on Choose HAL Model Configuration to see I.O. and other specifications of each model. You can also use a starter configuration as an initial point to build your own system. Notice that some pre-built configurations were designed using legacy devices like the HAL 4, HAL 2 and HAL 1X. If you need more examples, our website offers many configurations with practical applications to start with. Just download one and open directly from your Halogen software. Once you've decided which device is the best for your purpose, select a HAL device from the Create column and start a new configuration. The interface is divided into two main sections, the Hardware Workspace and the Processing Workspace. The Hardware Workspace will be the virtual image of the physical device, showing you the inputs, outputs, RAD ports, DR ports and logic in ports. On the upper left menu device, you will see the buttons. Status shows at the moment you are disconnected from the HAL 3S. Once you have your hardware connected, the status will show a thunderbolt surrounded by a green color. You can connect your computer to the processor and instantly be able to check your design. If you're expanding a system or providing maintenance to an existing HAL installation, this button will allow you to view to inspect the configuration inside the processor. Open the connect window, get the configuration file and save it in your computer. Learning the configuration that was applied in the processor is a very powerful tool to expand existing systems and solve any problems left by the previous designer. Disconnect your computer from the processor to modify your system and then reconnect it to control the changes. After designing, connecting and checking your system, you must press Apply to transfer the configuration from your computer to the processor. All devices remember the last configuration applied. In the File menu, you will have the options Start a new configuration, Open an existing one, save your changes and save as to rename and save your existing configuration. Always save two files for each configuration with version 1 and version 2 to keep a backup of your changes. Edit menu with copy and paste options, also available pressing Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste and in the same fashion you can also press delete on your keyboard. Notes can be saved inside your configuration with specific details such as passwords, static IP addresses, DNS, gateways, room measurements, etc. In the settings panel, you can configure the boot up behavior by selecting Recall Baseline Preset, which we will see in the next lessons. But we recommend to leave it as default, restore working values saved at shutdown in case of power loss or any kind of electrical failure. You can also determine the meter peak hold time of all meters in your system from 20 milliseconds to infinity. Need an extra hand while designing your system? You can easily access the help menu and get your questions solved in a click. As in the physical hardware, the virtual HAL 3S shows you the same color code for each port. Green for analog inputs, notice the little green Euroblock connector right there. Orange for analog outputs. Blue for the remote audio devices, also known as RADs, connected to your processor via shielded Cat5 ear better and carry audio, logical information and control commands. Brown is for the digital remote, known as DR, also connected via shielded Cat5 ear better, but in this case, a digital remote can carry only control commands, no audio. Silva 
for the logical ports connecting external plus or minus 5 volts digital logic devices that will communicate with halogen and consecutively with all the DSP processors. Now you know the tools in the hardware workspace and the color code, it's time to start your own configuration. See you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching Halogen Training. Subscribe to our channel and participate with your questions and suggestions. This is Augusto Marcondes from InMusic Company, your Halogen Training Tutor.